So if Tyler come up here, and then from here, it's easier to control. So for Daz, he wants to drop his weight down on me, yeah? So now I'm carrying him, so his weight's down on me, so this is hard. So if I'm going for his neck, as soon as I go for his neck, this will bring his head up, and now it's hard for me to control this, yeah? So what I tend to do is I go for the arms, control the arms. So yeah, put your weight down, let's sit here, and control the arms. You need, if his elbows are down, now he's, he's a bit stronger. So I try and come up here, and then from here, it's easier to control. <coughs> yeah, over yeah. here. Yeah, the arm. yeah, I can move underneath, Yeah, I can lock, but if I'm here and I put myself in this position here, all I'm doing is just holding that up, you know, I'm holding all his weight up yeah. from here, yeah, because I'm trying to go through his neck, I'm constantly trying, and think, the more I hold around the neck, the more my forearm burns, yeah, yeah. so I just want to be here, generally when I clinch, I'll have one hand on the arm, one hand around the neck, and I'll tend to change between the both, and I'll go here to yeah. here, here to here, yeah, depending on where my, how my opponent reacts. Uh, but yeah, if you're going against other opponents, yeah. I wouldn't go for the neck. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it depends again, like how strong your taller opponent is. Do you know what I mean? So like sometimes I'll like going over the top and then drop, lock in that position here, you know, which makes it a little bit easier for me. But if I go here, this is a little bit harder. Yeah.